Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem, we are given that a minus b over a is equal to c. And a is negative and b is positive. And from this information, we have to come to some conclusion about c. So rewriting this equation to write a as a negative number and b as a positive number, we can say this is a negative minus a positive over a, which is a negative. And we are short of solving this, right? Where we're not actually looking for the value, we're looking, is this negative or positive? And okay, we first have to think about this. A negative minus a positive, is that gonna be negative or positive? Well, we have a negative number, which is already negative, and you're subtracting a positive. So that means you're lowering it even more, right? This is like taking negative four and subtracting a number five. It's getting more negative, right? It's getting lower than it was originally, so it's going to stay negative. So we have a negative divided by a negative. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. And this is what we can tell from just this analysis, right? And so we know um, C is positive. but we don't know whether it is a specific, we don't know what's exact value, right? We would have to know what A is and what B is to find that. So C is positive, don't know its exact value. So we can say C is positive, so it's not less than negative one, it's not equal to negative one, and we don't know its exact value from this information, so therefore we don't know that it's equal to one. So therefore C is greater than one. Right? All we know is that C is greater than zero, but if C is greater than zero, C is also greater than one. So we know it's A. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.